Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Cher Arika. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. The title of our story is The Three Fishes by Charles Perrault and illustrated by Meredith Light Brown. Once upon a time, long, long ago, there was a very poor woodsman. He lived with his wife in a tiny cottage at the edge of the woods. Every day, he went into the forest and cut down trees with his axe. He worked all day long and he worked very hard. Work, 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 he said as he swung his axe. Someday, I will not have to work so hard. Someday, I will have a big house and plenty of food. Someday, I will be rich. But, no matter how many trees he cut down, he remained just as poor as ever. One day, when he was deep in the forest, he came to a huge oak tree. He thought about all the lumber he could get from such a tree. And he made up his mind to cut it down, no matter how long it might take. He picked up his axe and was about to swing it when he heard a voice behind him. Stop! cried the voice. The woodsman was so startled that he dropped his axe. And when he turned around, he could hardly believe his eyes. There, right before him, stood a tree fairy. This tree is mine, said the fairy. Please don't cut it down. Now, the woodsman had never seen a tree fairy, so he did not know what to make of it. All right, he said. If it is yours, then I won't cut it down. Thank you, said the tree fairy. Now, since you have been so kind to me, I will grant you three wishes. Think before you use them and use them wisely. Remember, no matter what they may be, your next three wishes will come true. Then, the fairy disappeared. The woodsman picked up his axe and started for home. As he walked, he thought about what he should wish for. When he got home, he told his wife what had happened. Then, she thought about what he should wish for. Then, they both sat down and they thought about what he should wish for. I might wish for a bigger cottage, suggested the woodsman. No, not a cottage, said his wife. A castle with high towers and a wide drawbridge. I might wish for a bag full of gold, suggested the woodsman. Not a bag full, scolded his wife. A barrel full. No, a whole wagon full of gold. I could wish for a new cart, said the woodsman, to haul my wood to market. No, not a cart, cried the wife. A big fancy coach and a team of white horses to pull it along. Just think of it, said the woodsman. We can have anything we want, and all we have to do is wish for it. But we must be very careful, reminded his wife. There is so much to ask for, and there are only three wishes. We must think and think and think until we are sure. So, 
they thought and thought and then they thought some more all this thinking is making me hungry said the woodsman is supper ready yet certainly not scolded his wife it is not yet supper time and supper will not be ready until it is time for supper that's too bad said the woodsman because i'm hungry right now i wish i had some nice sausage to keep my stomach from growling as soon as he had spoken there came a noise from the chimney cutter cutter rustle rustle and out came some sausage now look what you've done cried the wife you've wasted the wish so i have agreed the woodsman then he said he was sorry but his wife kept on scolding him Giffel, she cried you wish for a sausage when you could have had a whole pig you could have had a whole farm with hundreds of pigs i didn't think said the woodsman you never think cried the wife you wish for a sausage and wasted a wish now we have only two wishes left what am i to do with you i'm sorry said the woodsman again he wanted his wife to be quiet but his wife would not be quiet no one but you would wish for a sausage she cried now we must be even more careful than before and it's all because of you you didn't think you wasted our first wish on a sausage the woodsman did not want to listen to his wife anymore don't talk about the sausage he said sausage 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 she shouted finally the woodsman could take no more i wish that sausage was stuck to your nose he cried then maybe you wouldn't talk so much about it at once the sausage was stuck to the end of his wife's nose when he saw what had happened the woodsman started to laugh he couldn't help himself <laughs> you look so funny with a sausage stuck to your nose he laughed it's not funny wailed his wife she tried to pull the sausage off her nose but it was stuck help me get it off she cried but no matter how much they pulled and tagged and tried to remove the sausage it stayed where it was the sausage was stuck to her nose and would not come off do something cried the woodsman's wife she looked down at the sausage hanging from her nose the woodsman looked at the sausage too i suppose i could get used to it he said after all not every man can say that his wife has a sausage hanging from her nose wish it off begged his wife you have one wish left ah so i do exclaimed the woodsman then he sat down and pretended to forget about the sausage no let me think he said what shall i use my last wish for shall i wish for jewels gold fancy clothes a fine house his wife stood silently and looked at him with sad pleading eyes it was the first time she had been silent in a long long while hmm, i wish 
the woodsman said, I wish that sausage would come off my wife's nose. And as soon as he had made his wish, the sausage fell from his wife's nose onto the table. And that was the last of the woodsman's three wishes. He never had a bigger house or a pile of gold. And his wife never had fancy clothes or pretty jewelry. But at least they had a fine sausage supper. And that's the end of the story about the three fishes. I hope you like our story for today.